shit list roundup, where we round up all the tweety tweets and the trendy trends of the day. As you know, as you know, there's a lot of a lot of news going on. A lot of stuff is trending on Twitter. Let's start with the uh, at the profile at the timeline here. Let's zoom out. Let's see. Let's refresh here. There's a lot of stuff I retweeted. I new 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 do do do. I wanna I wanna get to some of this stuff. Um, spread around the the link today. You're gonna want to spread this link around. Uh, at the top um, so that everyone can go watch Dakota's reaction in the second hour at the top of the second hour. Um, fun fact, though, fun fact of today, fun fact, Rush Ball has been drug free for a whole year. Congrats, Rush Bo. Congrats, buddy. You've been you've been drug free for a whole fucking year. What a piece of shit. Oh, look, fuck Rush Ball. Fuck him. Uh, well, maybe we'll play that later. I, I really, so let's get back on this Rush Limbaugh thing. Let's do this. Let's do this part really quick. All right. Not really quick. We're probably going to take a few minutes on this. A lot of people, a lot of people know who Rush Limbaugh is, that vile piece of shit. A lot of people don't know all the stuff that he said and how he did his radio show. Um, I used to listen and, 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 and stay with me here. I used to listen to Rush Limbaugh for years, almost all three hours. Um, when I would work uh, years ago, I would be in the car a lot of times driving around. And so I would listen to Rush Limbaugh. Now, I would vehemently disagree with 99.100% well, of what he said. And I would be screaming, screaming at the radio the entire time. So that was like my practice for this show for fucking years is to yell and scream at the radio while Rush Limbaugh was talking. Um, he would do three hours of vile fucking propaganda every single day, right wing propaganda every single fucking day. Now, there's a lot of significant things about Rush Limbaugh. OK, and the, the reason why we're at the, where we're at in the world today and in this country specifically with Trumpism, uh, he is really the birth of, of this Trumpism stuff, you know, to to un un undo the the thin veiling of fascism in this country for years uh, conservatives quote unquote would thin veil fascism with things like debt deficits you know that sort of bullshit and then it worked into when barack obama became president it became the tea party type shit um obstruction and then it became trumpism so there's been a lot of fucking brand rebranding over the years of this right-wing fascism in this country this american talibanism as we know it today uh, where they're running amok, these fuckers. They, they, we even have politicians making commercials talking about uh, how guns are are made. We have gun rights to kill other politicians in the government and to overthrow the government. Like you are running for the government, you dumb motherfucker. People, they really are fucking boneheaded. They don't even know they're domestic terrorists, and they're domestic terrorists. Like the guy down in wherever the fuck, uh, giving some kind of commercial where he's shooting. Uh, Mark Kelly, after Mark Kelly's wife uh, um, was fucking shot at a political event in the face because of some deranged person who would b was believing fucking bullshit information on the internet. He was radicalized by a bunch of dumb fucks on the internet to go shoot and try to kill a politician. This is all. This is all in. In this is all part of the plan with Rush Limbaugh, right? To cause chaos. That's the whole point, to, to, to leak propaganda into the minds of right-wing Americans and to convince right-wing Americans and pull them farther and farther, further right, making them extremist. That's the whole point. Now, Rush Limbaugh became less and less relevant over the years. Here's why. In the, in the late 80s and the early 90s, when Rush Limbaugh started his radio show, there wasn't a such thing as social media. Right. Our news cycle was a hell of a lot longer. It was long, like like maybe 48 hour news cycle. Right. And then um, soon into the 90s, we got to a 24 hour news cycle. Right. Rustlin Ball came on the radio all across the country on AM stations and then later in FM stations. And one of the biggest fucking pushers of Rustlin Ball was cumulus broadcasting. They're still one of the biggest pushers of right wing propaganda today. Cumulus broadcasting. Go look it up. I'm not making this fucking shit up. Rushlin Ball would come on the radio at noon Eastern every day. The reason why Rushlin Ball was on at noon Eastern for three hours every single day in the local AM stations, and that's the key here. That was the that was the secret sauce. He was a local voice. 
He was a local voice on the local radio station, syndicated, right? It would pump his message into millions of minds of Americans, mostly those who are who are pre-programmed to be right-wing in the first place. Now, the reason why Rush Limbaugh was on at noon Eastern every single day was to make sure that those people who were going to go home and watch the local news and the national news at 6 o'clock, right? You guys remember this. There used to not be fucking Facebook. There used to not be Twitter. You, you went home and you watched the news at night, the evening news. Now, there was CNN and stuff, but not everyone had cable at that point. And not everyone was wrapped in this 24-hour news cycle. Now we got like a five-second news fucking cycle. What Rush Limbaugh's whole fucking goal with his radio show was, was to make sure that he programmed people that when they watched the news that night, they knew how to feel about the news, right? Because that's all it's about. It's not about facts. It's not about real shit. It's, it's, not, it's not about being tethered to reality. It's about how am I supposed to feel about the news? You know, that was the whole lamestream media, you know, acting like the media is a left-wing operation. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Us on the left know that the media isn't left-wing. For fucking sure. For fucking sure we know the media isn't fucking left wing. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But Rush Limbaugh's whole goal is to make sure that those folks out there in this country that were supposed to be right wing, that were supposed to vote Republican, that were part of the GQP, make sure that they were pre-programmed when they watched the national news and their local news headlines. When they got their paper in the evening at the grocery store before they went home, before they listened to the national news, before they had a chance, the idea was to make sure that they pre-programmed exactly how they were supposed to feel about it, exactly how they were supposed to interpret it. That way in the morning when they went back to the office, went back to the school, went back to their community, went back to work, they could stand there and they could propagate his message and his fucking, and the way you're supposed, the way you're supposed to feel way you're supposed to feel about the news. Because that's all this is. These fucking snowflakes don't have any kind of tethering to reality. Because they're fucking snowflakes. Truth is their fucking enemy. Democracy is their fucking enemy. That's why we see the GQP is supporting Russia. Because Russia's whole goal here is to question and doubt democracy. That's what Putin wants. Putin doesn't want a hot war. Putin doesn't want to have to fucking force the American government and NATO to be to, to apply sanctions to him. But he may have to because democracy is his enemy. Democracy is always a tyrant, is always a fascist enemy, is always a totalitarian regime's enemy. That's it. That's what it is. You can say whatever you want about the war in Ukraine and the border and why they're doing what they're doing. Putin is testing democracy, just like Rush Limbaugh did for years and years on the radio, that fuck. They don't want democracy. They want fascism. Fascism is not democracy. It's not. It won't be. It never be. And that's the thing we need to make sure that all Americans know here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this today. I had a conversation with someone yesterday, a former Republican. And they're 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 sick and tired of the GQP shit as well. So we'll talk about that later on in the hour. But I think it's very significant that we talk about Rush Limbaugh today because th this this misinformation, disinformation, this right wing propaganda didn't just start with social media. L Rushbo here. That's what they used to call him, L Rushbo. Fuck that guy. Mago dittos to him being dead. Fuck him. This country is way better off without that son of a bitch having a microphone. Way better off. Now, because we have free speech in this country, sometimes, sometimes it takes someone to kick the old bucket to get rid of their voice. And I'm not, I'm not much of a superstitious person, and I'm not much of a religious person. But go Grin Reaper. <laughs> In this case, fuck him. 
We should all be happy in this country that Rush Limbaugh does not have a microphone, whatever way that that took. Him dying from cancer, that piece of shit, after he propagated for years that cigarettes don't cause cancer. Fuck him. Fuck him. That fucking lying, vile, racist, homophobic piece of shit. Okay. Maybe enough on Rush. All right, let's go back to the timeline. Do, 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 do. 